I'm Kay and I'm a late bloomer. Thanks for coming back for day two of the Late Bloomer Garden Extreme Makeover. Now, day two refers to about a week of really hard work. So hang on to your seats while we whiz through all the improvements and the plantings for my summer garden. Let's begin on May 7th. While my California native yarrow, my hundred or so seedlings, and linden sunbathed, I planted some sprouted Jerusalem artichoke sent to me from Sharon's Natural Gardens. I made compost tea from her biodynamic barrel compost. I harvested my carrot bed, more on that later. and a pot of potatoes. It was time to relieve my front porch from a few seedlings and a fig tree. But first, some more work needed to be done on the plateau. Dan replaced the plateau sidewalls with new taller wood, shored up the sides, then we got the fig tree in. As Dan cleaned up the mess, I replaced the half-inch irrigation line in the parkway from self-made to factory-made holes for more even watering. We'd finally planted a new tree in the parkway the day before. Mother's Day proved to be another busy day. It won't win any beauty contests, but I finished my pole bean trellis after dark last night. I set about planting my cowpeas saved from last year, layered in biodynamic compost and organic plant food, and a single row of peas about two inches apart. These will be thinned to one to every four to six inches, covered with more compost, and laid in the drip line. A work of art. <laughs> Dan added compost and loosened the soil in the back 40. Next up, I planted corn seed in my raised bed. On Monday, I built a trellis and planted five cucumbers. Wednesday morning, I planted tomatoes and peppers at my neighbors, and in the afternoon, tomatoes and spaghetti squash on the back 40. Thursday, I planted scarlet runner beans to climb up the back of the trellis and wildflower seeds where the self-seeders came out, planted three cucumber seedlings in pots and four of my tomatilla seedlings in the ground. Then the big rain came. An hour later, I harvested a small handful of blueberries and a big handful of lemons. I was going to pick a couple of lemons. <laughs> Look what I found. This is crazy. One, two, three, four, five. Five big Meyer lemons were coming off that one little stem. That's incredible. We should weigh that. Okay, here we go. two and a half pounds on that one little stem. <laughs> okay. Good morning. How are you doing? Great. How about you? Good. Good. It's frustrating with all these people that have their automatic quickness still going. It's so frustrating. Have you seen a lot? Yeah, I know. I was just recording a little bit on that because... It's just running off into the streets. It makes me so mad. Well, it shouldn't be on at all. Well, that's even too much after a rain. We it's shouldn't have. Way too much. Yeah. I water once a week. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You, I'm sure you have to do more with all your veggies. Well, but the thing is, I, I spot do it. Yeah. It's all drip. I use a lot less water. Yeah. And, and plus, all the water that I use results in food I can eat, yeah. not in just green grass to look at. Yeah. Or green weeds, I should say. <laughs> 
Yeah, you too. Seeing me sort of wedged into this little spot in my garden is very sort of apropos of my situation because when you have 300 square feet to work with and it's not all laid out in a nice little rectangle, it's got odd angles and walkways and this thing and that thing and driveways and sidewalks. <laughs> You've got to be creative and there's no time to let a field rest for a season. <laughs> it's got to be used constantly which requires a certain amount of amendments, especially when you have hard clay soil like I do, like I used to have, I should say. I'm gonna do a soil episode and show you my beautiful, sexy soil. <laughs> Stay tuned for that. <sighs> Let me uh, take you on a little tour. This year, I'm switching things up. Sweet corn is going here. Tomatoes are going in the back 40. Were you taking notes? This is the back 40. Cucumbers, six tomato plants, two basil, two spaghetti squash in there. We call this the plateau. You gotta get creative when you've got a small space. We built it up about six or eight inches from the level of the sidewalk. All of the eight inches have been soil that I have fostered, nurtured, and created. Right now we have um, five tomato plants, which I am going to prune and just put against one pole. I'm going to take all the suckers off so it just goes up one pole so I can walk through here. We added a new Mexican pink guava tree to the parkway and one, two, three pineapple guavas and a lot of other stuff planted in between. I have two watermelon plants here, one uh, eggplant, contender bean seeds planted down here. Uh, I've got a bunch of uh, fascicularis, which is the native milkweed. Uh, that's reseeded over here and native gem popcorn <laughs> all along the edge and I'm going to use that for support for some pole beans, yellow pole beans seed that I planted in front of each one two weeks later to give the corn a head start and um, and then of course I have my green beans and my yellow wax beans down in the corner and letting the celery go to seed and oh, and my pumpkin is down there, so fingers crossed on the pumpkin. And one tomato plant, only one. Last year I had five here. And a few snow peas that I planted late. And of course there's borage, more borage. And back there I have one pot of potatoes. I forgot to point out our other new addition. This is a brown turkey fig. Now the last fig tree I planted, I completely killed. I mean, the whole neighborhood's talking about it. <laughs> this is my last beautiful heirloom rose. I salvaged these roses from my neighbor's yard. This big rose and dahlia guy, and this is an heirloom rose. It's high maintenance, but oh, the scent is incredible. Well, as you can see, my garden is really planted for the summer. So I can just sit back and wait for the sun to shine and hang out with Lyndon. <laughs> oh, wait. What are you planting for summer? Please let me know. And please share this episode with a friend. I'm Kay, I'm a late bloomer. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Just want to see you to see this gorgeous girl this morning. Look at there. Just want to eat that. Like a little. Mm.
No. What is that? Oh. <laughs> no worries. That is a bumblebee. They tend to be a little intimidating. <laughs>